I started making jewelry a few years ago as a form of art therapy for PTSD. So I was going through re-exposure therapy and part of that therapy you have to recall kind of like tough images. So being surrounded by beautiful gemstones, sparkle, other cultures was really an inspiration. We decided to create a jewelry business because we wanted an economy to support other survivors. Both me and Ellie are survivors of sexual assault. So um, we first decided um, to create the jewelry business, but we wanted to have a nonprofit behind it. Um, that's why with Ann we started Restore Dignity. Before the jewelry company, we became pretty big activists in the um, campus sexual assault space. So um, after Ellie came home, from school, um, I got myself very educated on what happens to a person who's been sexually assaulted and how does that impact their life. And then we decided that um, we saw a void in a space of support that was directly helping a student in real time when the, while they're in school. That's what Restore Dignity is. Um, we're just strangers that have your back. We're going to support you. Whatever it is you need, if you need to change locations, get a meal plan because you lost your job, you need tuition assistance, you need medical help, we're there to help you. The survivors will actually tell us like what their needs are and then within yeah. three weeks we'll turn around the funds. And um, so I think from this like DC democratic yeah. empowering community, we've been able to spread that message to New York, to California. Throughout the whole world actually. London. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's such a simple message, but everyone relates to it. And um, especially if you turn your focus away from the perpetrator and to the survivor and just say, how can we re rehabilitate this student? How can we get them back on the path they were on? I mean, that's like one of the purest mm. forms of justice and there's really nothing stopping you. As a parent, educate yourself on what power and balance looks like and what that power and balance could be, whether it's a relationship with a teacher, a coach, a boyfriend, and really understand if your student, your child, is experiencing a different pattern of behavior than, than is uh, normal, more than likely they might be have experienced something that they don't want to talk about. The symptom of PTSD is that you can't imagine the future, which you can imagine every other symptom from hypervigilance to just kind of like intense emotions, but just not being able to imagine your future is one that I think is really debilitating because how could you plan your career how could you call a friend and check in with someone like it doesn't happen as often that trauma uh puts us all in the same space and that supporting a person who's been sexually traumatized whether um you know they go to an ivy league school or they are in a community community college it doesn't matter to us it's just that if you have been traumatized we want to support you